Hello. Today I'm going to be solving the legal system. As we all know, the American legal system has its fair share of issues, but the answer can't be just, you know, throw it out and start over, because there's going to be an interim period in which, you know, uh, there's no laws. So what I've decided to do instead as a public service is just uh, kind of um, give uh, an off-the-top-of-the-dome um, list of changes that could be made that I think would be very helpful. All right, first off, let's take a look at the financial system. Um, number one, uh, congressional insider trading is very irritating to all of us. Uh, well, all of us plebeians who aren't in Congress. So my uh, solution is this. You know, the kind of unspoken argument for allowing members of Congress to insider trade is that, you know, if you have to maintain two residences, um, a congressional salary is not exactly competitive uh, with, you know, what you could be making as just someone who, you know, works at Google and makes the products worse. So what I propose is this. Um, you make the salary something, you know, actually competitive for how, it are, uh, how hard it is to be a congressman. You, you, you do get what you pay for with this kind of thing. Um, it, like, let's say $500,000 a year. And then if you insider trade or take bribes, um, you are put into a zoo. You're stripped naked. Um, it, it'll be like a zoo enclosure at the, um, like the, the Washington National Zoo, the one that has the pandas. Um, yeah, there's, you can just see which congressmen have taken bribes and they have to live like monkeys. Uh, let's see what's next. Um, continuing on in the financial thing, uh, shorting stocks, gone. You can't short stocks anymore. There's no reason to be able to do that. That's, it, it just incentivizes being, yeah, using um, the financial system as a really, really expensive lottery. Expensive for everyone else. You, you're good. Uh, let's look at this list here. Um, next up. Castle Doctrine. Um, it will be expanded federally to all 50 states. Um, if someone breaks into your house with a weapon with the intent to harm you or rob you, uh, you're not only allowed to shoot them, you can, you can use them for medical experiments, you can turn them into the Pulp Fiction Gimp. Now, the burden is going to be on you to prove that they were there with malfeasance. Um, you can't just do this to someone who's coming over to um, hang out with you. But, yeah, no, I think if someone breaks into your home, uh, whatever you can do to them, um, you're allowed to. Put them in a saw trap. Uh, peel them. Uh, taking a page out of Viper's book. Yep, 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 yep. No code. Not that page. Um, just an actual good idea that he had. Cops should be drafted and not hired. It should work like jury duty, really. Like, it should be like, oh, fuck, I've got to go be a cop for, you know, four years. Um, pay them well. Uh, train them well. You don't need as many if they're actually good and they're not going to be, you know, power tripping. Uh, and also, I guess, let them keep doing it if they're, you know, once the four years are up. But yeah, like, uh, impressment, basically, I think is just a really better way to do that. Um, okay, so I read something interesting. It was a report to the Bureau of Justice Statistics, um, I think in 2023, that includes this graph right here. And now, before I go any further, I'd like to say that three strikes laws, I think, are, you know, just, they're really a bad idea. They're inhumane, they're you know, they can impose barbaric punishments on someone who just really has had a string of bad luck. Like, it, it is completely possible to, you know, wind up getting arrested by no fault of your own three times. However, if you look at this graph, uh, you will notice that you could reduce crime, um, you know, at least crimes that send people to prison, by a full 5% by just introducing a 31 strikes and you're out policy. What I mean by this is if, you know, the 31st time you go to jail, instead of taking you to jail, they just take you out back and blow you up with dynamite. Um, we would just take a full 5% off the top with, uh, you know, crimes. And, like, there's a lot of good arguments to be made by, you know, why California's three strikes policy was a bad idea. But I really don't think those um, continue on for a 31 strikes policy. Because, like, you know, yeah, you can have bad luck three times. If you have bad enough luck to go to jail 28 more times through no fault of your own, honestly, we should kill you anyways. Because just, like, you know, you're going to, you're cursed by, by something. Like, we got to get rid of you. Bad juju. Anyways, uh, I believe in getting rid of jails 
Um, now, the answer to this is to return to pirate discipline. And what I mean by that is that all crimes, I think everyone can kind of agree on, fall into three categories. Um, deserving of flogging, exile slash marooning, or keel hauling. Now, let me explain this a little bit further. Okay, so everyone knows that jails are really not effective as a, any kind of reform tool. So it's just like, you know, okay, if they're going to be a tool used to separate, you know, criminals out from the rest of society, uh, why are we letting people out of jail? And I don't think that's reasonable. Um, I think that in most cases, people who go to jail come out worse because it's like, you know, okay, yeah, you got caught drunk driving or something, you go to prison. What that means is, you know, you lose your job. You can't afford to, you know, pay rent. You get evicted. You lose all your stuff. Um, you wind up uh, accepting an offer to, you know, change uh, cells to live with J.K. Simmons. Um, but, you yeah, know, I, I think jail is... Nothing good comes of that. So, really, I think for most minor crimes, um, you should be sentenced to flogging. Like, you'll show up to work, you know, the next day being like, ow, that hurt, fuck, that sucked, I'm not going to do that again. Um, for more major violent offenses or um, really... This is kind of more for like uh, anti-social crimes, um, you know, tax, uh, like large scale financial fraud. Um, anything where it's just really like, you know, you're taking advantage of the good of society to the point where, you know, we're like, okay, try living without society, take you to a deserted island and just drop you there. Um, you can come back in five years if you're still alive. Uh, just sort of like, a, you know, like, okay, if you don't want to like contribute to society, if you want to just, you know, screw everyone else out of their money, like, bye. And then keel hauling, um, just for the really nasty stuff, uh, stuff where everyone's like, you know, you see a crime and it's like, oh, that's a keel hauling. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, who don't know, keel hauling is when you get to take a ride around a boat where, you know, they tie a rope to your arms and a rope to your legs. And then the ship is sailing and then you just get kind of scraped along the barnacle encrusted outside. I think people could get a lot of aggression out by just having designated PvP combat zones. Um, like, I do think this would help um, people who were just like, you know, got roid rage, um, you know, causing bar fights, you know, shooting their gun at people in traffic because they're, you know, mad. Um, yeah, no, I, I think that just have a, like, a, like make them like national parks or something. Just, you know, the RuneScape wilderness. You just can go in there. Um, you can bring whatever you want. Uh, you. I guess we've got to find a, like, the logistics of this can be figured out later because, you know, we don't want people spawn camping. But I, I see no reason why, if you were fully aware of the risks, you should not be allowed to enter a PvP zone. And, like, you know, whoever, like, does the best in there can be recruited by the military. Um, so I really, I think that's a win-win. Um, trophy hunting uh, is now illegal except for if you do it with a baseball bat. Yeah, I'm, I'm not impressed at all by anyone who goes and kills, you know, something like a, you know, rhinoceros or a, you know, tiger or a, the elephant or whatever, because they're just shooting a big gun at it and, like, you know, boo. But if you do that with a baseball bat, I am actually impressed. So, yes, you can still trophy hunt, but only with a baseball bat. And then I think there's a lot, one last one. Um, nope, that's it. All right, anyways, you're welcome for these ideas. Call me right, I creep at night. Posse deep is how I creep. Call me right on the grease. We get fucking sawed out. Call me about to clip it to the 